What up, nerds? It's me, your buddy, your pal, Hey Archer. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, the reason I'm frustrated, this is my third time trying to record this. I didn't hit record on the computer, I didn't hit record on the audio, whatever. We'll get through this together. So, nerds, thank you for being here. If you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe. I do lots of fun videos. I do trailer reactions here, all nerdy based. Today, we are talking Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. And if you guys have not seen the last animated movie that came out, Superman Red Sun, uh, check out my two-minute review. I'll link that maybe up above. Um, but also check out my collaborative review with Aaron Waller, friend of the channel. We go into a deep dive on that movie, giving you our reactions, um, review, etc. cetera. Uh, spoiler alert on two things here, right? I'm not going to spoil Red Sun, but two things on this movie here. First, uh, unfortunately, this is going to be the last DC animated universe movie, uh, according to the featurette on the Red Sun uh, digital release. That um, a quick bullet point here. I mentioned I go into a deep dive on that review, but quick bullet point here. If you enjoy any of these animated movies, the live action movies, um, the comics, any of that stuff, buy them. Buy them, rent them, uh, subscribe, do something. Uh, enough of the pirating. Because now, now the content that we enjoy is going away because it's just not making any money. And it could be that they suck and that's, not, and that's why they're not getting them. Um, I personally find them all enjoyable. Um, I think that they should live on the app. And I've talked about that uh, to exhaustion at this point. But support, to support these somehow uh, in a legal way. Because this being the last movie, it could be that they've been doing terrible in their um, sales, or it could just be the reviews are bad. I'm not sure. They didn't talk about that. Um, there's also that lingering uh, rumor going around that parent company of DC, um, AT&T, is looking to sell DC Comics. So that's a whole other story for another video. Uh, I might do a rambling video with Anthony on that. And I will go into details in this um, but I'll try not to spoil too much uh, based on the featurette. Because the featurette gave away a lot. So I'm only going to comment on the things that are shown in this trailer reaction or in this trailer. Um, but I won't go further into them based on the expanded content that was shown in the featurette. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Comment down below if it doesn't. But let's watch this trailer together. I finally have the audio recording. I have the video recording. I have the screen recording. We're going in. Three, two, one. Justice League. We are facing an existential threat to the planet. Our only option is to destroy Darkseid. First of all, let me know what you guys thought down below. Um, there are things here I didn't catch before. So, all right, let's go back through this. So the Justice League is banding together to go after Darkseid, right? Um, immediately after watching this um, and what I picked up on watching the featurette is this is going to be their endgame. Um, and in this trailer, it looks like there are time skips based on how the characters looked. So 
right here you have the entire league um, kind of all meeting up together in order to discuss the situation. I'm starting to wonder if this is the same universe as um, the previous Justice League Dark and uh, Justice League War. And here's, here's why, all right? So we have these characters here, right? We've seen most of them already before. So Dark Side is going to be there. Obviously, the Javelin has crashed. So we have Hawkman, Shazam, Martian Manhunter, Green Lantern, um, Hal Jordan, even though we saw Jon Stewart before, Aquaman, Flash, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. There's your fallen. Yep. So Batman's get tortured. But. So we have Damian Wayne saying about how they failed, right? Implying the Justice League failed at this mission. Now, the other thing that's noted here is that they always he, he's saying that they always thought they were in control, but Darkseid was in control. I think Cyborg is the key here. Because it, it zooms in on his eye. And if you remember, Cyborg is actually uh, comprised of a mother box. So safe to assume, Darkseid is controlling the whole scenario. Now, here's where, here's where I'm starting to kind of think. Not only are they going to be Jack, Swagger Jack in Endgame. Um, but that there may be more than one DC Universe involved here. Um, Hit like, comment down below if you're seeing where I'm going with this before I even dive into it. All right. So, same characters that we've seen in the other movies, right? And this is a sequel to the other movies. Off the jump, Darkseid has his eyes. Both eyes got stabbed out in Justice League War. If you've not seen Justice League War, you should go check it out. But his eyes should be gone. So, either there's a healing factor, there are cybernetics or whatever, but he looks the same. As in that other movie. Let's go to the other part. Constantine going into a portal, right? Is what it is. However, talking to Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing's dead. He died in... Uh, uh, it wasn't war. Was it... Um, it was Just League Dark. He died in that movie. So who's this? Is... Did he regenerate or something? Because they pulled the, the actual human out of the being of Swamp Thing. So what's he doing here? All right. Now. Here we have Superman with gray hair. Some veins going on. Green eyes. Now, no, he is not a Green Lantern. I'll just give you. I'll tell you that right now. He is poisoned by kryptonite. So implying that Superman has been defeated in some sort of way. Um, and I think that's where the failure point happens. They go, they fight Darkseid, they lose, and now we are in the future. That's why Damien's older, Raven's older, and then there's the other part here. Shazam with the scar, the damaged eye, that's not present-day Shazam, future Shazam, because you saw that in uh, Flashpoint. So... Steel, Metropolis City Boy, Superman in the bottom right. So this is, they're from the same universe as the last movie. But maybe Shazam's not. Maybe Apocalypse, or sorry, maybe Darkseid is not. Let's continue. Lois Lane, rocking the machine gun, adult Damian Wayne, much like she did in Flashpoint. Is that Flashpoint, Lois Lane? Not sure. But I'm saying we've seen that over there. We have older Damian Wayne, Raven, Kryptonite Sword? Who's he fighting with a Kryptonite Sword? Not Darkseid. And you don't really need it for Superman, in theory. What's going on in there? So I'm, I'm, truly, I'm truly thinking... There's going to be some sort of universe jumping, uh, dimension jumping, time jumping, something like that. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I messed up all of the recordings before because I didn't catch any of this stuff. None of it. 
And now, I am truly excited for this movie. Um, so I want you guys to comment down below what you think. Uh, do you think I'm reaching on this? Um, but most importantly, as I mentioned, I want you guys, girls, nerds, all of you, if there's content you enjoy, pay for it, please. Just pay for it. Just do it. I'm tired of these animated movies, these animated series, just going to the wayside because of bootlegging and because nobody supports them. Because you know what? These movies are actually kind of decent. Kind of decent. And it sucks that they're done. Maybe they're going to reboot the whole thing. Maybe this is the reboot to a whole new animated universe. Um, but I'm getting a lot of Endgame vibes here. I'm not enjoying that part of it. But you know what? If it makes a good movie, screw it. Just copy it. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you guys for being here. All of you nerds are making this channel grow um, immensely. I can't thank you enough. Um, thank you so much for watching a lot of the other videos. My views have gone up in the last couple days. Thank you. Um, that being said, that being said, I can't wait to review this movie. Um, I'm guessing because Red Sun just came out, this might be some sort of early summer, late spring movie. And uh, we'll root, we'll, we, uh, we will review it together. Together. I am jacked up today. I don't know what's going on. But I will see you nerds in the next video. Peace.